Tony, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing makeup. Um, I know that's what I've done the past couple videos, but I really haven't had it in me to film very much. Um, and a lot of you guys have heard like my last video and stuff. I'm having like a really hard time right now. So, um, just gonna do my makeup and we're gonna chill and relax and talk about whatever um and yeah so i forgot to say if you're new here a uh, special welcome to you um if you like makeup and nails and hauls and um doing makeup anything of that sort uh I do that stuff so check out my channel subscribe you know um comment like all that stuff all right um my eye is watering really bad just one of them I don't know why but and I'm trying to go for less foundation more than more and I gotta make sure I get that thing in that one. I don't know if I have like hormonal acne. I usually don't get it. Not that I know this is like fun to talk about or anything, but um, I usually never get acne and I have some, but I have been so stressed out. I don't know if that's it either. Like, honestly, I... I just have not had, I haven't had it in me to film, which is pretty crazy because like, I don't know, I'm about to hit probably four years on my channel sometime soon. Like, it's taken me a really long time to get where I am, which is fine with me. I'm very happy where I'm at and, um... You know, I would love for my channel to keep growing, but, um, I, uh, you would think after four years, like, I've been through it all, so I would be able to deal with whatever comes along, and that's just not always the case, so... All right, there goes that. So that looks better. Let me make sure my eyebrows are good. All right, let me make sure my foundation cap's tight before I put it in my bag all haphazardly. Okay, let me put some powder on and then I'm gonna do my eyes. I was gonna do my eyes first, but it doesn't really matter. I'm using pastel shadows today quite a few different palettes which is strange for me like to use this many palettes but um I could do it with one literally Ugh, got stuff on my arm it's probably my dinner <sighs> anyway um <laughs> Now that you guys have seen my dirty Calvin Klein sweater. What is that? Ugh, that's a feather from my pillow, but I really don't know what's on my shirt. Anyway, um, I don't know what I was saying, but yeah, I'm doing a pastel look. I could use one palette, but it just would not look the same. And I know that it just wouldn't look right. And, like, for this look, I need the perfect shade in, like, how many different colors am I using? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Six, maybe seven colors. And they're all different, but they're all pastel. Or pastel-ish. Um, there goes that. So, I'm not using anything new as far as, like, 
regular base makeup and stuff. But I'm going to do my eyes now so that if I need to, I can still brush away um, my stuff that's all over my shirt. Uh, okay, what are we going to start with? Green. Okay. So I'm going to try to stack these up and then use them as I need them. Did Yeah, I have that one. Okay, I'm trying to stack these up in the order that I need them. Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I need that, and that, and these are the last two I need, and I'll figure it out from there. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with this little flat Luxie brush. Um, it's one of, out of one of their travel things. It is their Luxie 245 small shader brush. So I'm going to go into the ColourPop Mint Juby palette. And I'm going to use quite a few of the ColourPop palettes today. Um, just because they have the perfect colors in them. And I didn't plan it that way or anything. It just happened. Alright. And if I get a little bit of this on the bottom, it's okay. Because I'm going to put some color on the bottom that's a little thicker and more pronounced than normal. I guess you would say it like that. All right. Okay, there's that. All right. Now I got out my pastels little um huda palettes too because i think that these colors the color pop colors are great but they need a little something just a little and i only have it in three colors because it only came in three colors so those are the only ones that i have like the sparkly versions of them but there are certain colors that I don't need that for. So, but this one I just think looks better with a little bit of this mint color. It has like a bluer base than the greener mint out of the ColourPop palette. I know I'm being way too judgy on my eyes, but Okay, next we're going to go to blue, and I'm going to use the On Cloud Blue palette along with the Hello Kitty ColourPop Coco Cutie. Um, I'm going to use this color, this like royal blue shimmer. I'm going to mix it with the lightest shimmer in the On Cloud Blue palette. So, yeah. Let me get out my color switch because I'm just going to keep on using this for my pastels. All right. So let me, I'm going to go for a little bit darker of a shimmer and let's see how this works out. This might actually be like the perfect shade or I might have used it yesterday and put royal blue on it. Okay, I think this one's actually good enough. All right, how's that? This side comes out a little more. And it actually does matter how the edges look. So if it's not the same, it kind of needs to be the same. At least for me. If you're trying to duplicate this look, you can do it how, 
whatever you darn well please. Now, I think this is perfect and that it doesn't need to be deepened up at all because that blue is actually bright enough that you can see it. So, let me just stack these so that they don't fall. Next, I'm going to go for the purple. Okay. Um, I have the Lilac You A Lot from ColourPop and the Lilac Pastels from Huda. Who didn't know which two I was using? Okay, so I'm going to grab... I think this is enough maybe not let me see I have the um this is the Michaela pot two pot two um this is the sort of flat blending brush kind of not it's kind of like this um lunar beauty uh LBE3, but I think this one's a little bit longer, so it's going to be easier to like shade out. So I'm going to go for the shimmer in the, I don't know which one to go for. I'm going to go for the shimmer in the middle of the Lilac You A Lot palette. And we're going to blow that off or tap it off or do whatever you do. And then this is going to be put there on the edge. And then we're going to, I'm going to tap in there for the other side, but I really, I don't need that much more color. And then we're going to blend it into the top a little bit. So... Let me flip this onto the other side real quick. That's has like no color on it. And then we're just gonna take small circles and take this out to where it kind of fades. I don't want to drag it all the way back, but this looks nothing like that. So we're gonna put a little bit more on there. Okay. All right, let me. All right, there's that. Okay, didn't know. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna grab that Luxie brush back and I'm gonna go into this purple shimmer in the um, purple Huda palette. And we're going to add some extra shimmer to the purple. I don't want it to be like such a defined space. I do want it to still look like airbrushed a little bit. So don't cake this on too thick, basically. Or you're going to get weird spots like that. Okay. That's better. Okay, let me fix this. All right. Um, now, uh, for my pink, I have the Hello Kitty ColourPop Cherry Sweet. And I have the Pastel Rose Palette. I'm not sure if I use the Pastel Rose Palette in this look or not. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I was literally throwing stuff. Like, it launched across the room. Um, so, in the Coco Cutie palette, or whatever this one's called, Cherry Sweet, I'm going to use this color right here. It's like a pink duochrome with a yellow. And then I'm going to mix it with this color right here. After... I get some of it on the eye and I'm going to do this kind of light and we want to go right up to where that line is where the green is 
but you don't want to do overkill on the line because you don't want anything to get any muddiness. Like where the blue and the purple are, it's fine, but you don't want to mess up that pretty um, pink and green into a crazy mess. Which I might be doing that and I could be in the middle of a downfall. Like this could turn out to be a disaster, but I really have a plan. So I think this is going to turn out good. Alright, now I'm not using the Huda one. I don't think I need to. Let me maybe do this anyway. Okay. Um... All right, I do like that. Okay, that looks better. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna use my color switch on this. I'm gonna drink some of my calorie-free iced tea. By the way, if you guys were wondering, I talked about going on a diet. I have lost almost 20 pounds, so I'm doing good on that. Even if I'm making myself look like an Easter egg right now. At least it fits the time of year. Um, let me set these back here with everything else that I'm setting back there. I'm trying to slowly start getting ready for vacation. Cause I'm like in vacation mode, but okay. I want to do my eyes, but I'm going to finish them in a couple minutes. My eyes are watering and I don't want this look to get killed. So I'm going to leave them alone for a minute and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup real quick. And I forgot to grab something out of my bag. So I'm going to grab that out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to grab my, um, my stuff for my, um, eyebrows because I don't want to look like this. Like, I don't have any. So, I'm gonna dip into this Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. And this is almost gone. And that's okay except for the fact that I can't get another one really sucks but I do have another one that I like it's really funny that all the bronzers that I'm actually a fan of are like have hit like um they went viral at some point in time like the Laguna bronzer and then what is that one from Rihanna that I like? I think it's the Sunsetter Bronzer. Um, that is the only, like, even remotely creamy product I can deal with when I put makeup on that I'm going to keep on. Like, everybody gets into these, like, creamy blush things and all that. I can't deal with it. Like, it either messes up my face or I get... Um, like I get concerned that it's messing up my makeup and all right, there goes that. Oh, I look like a clown. I went in too deep. <laughs> okay, we're gonna not do that again. Okay, hold on, please. I don't mean I'm going anywhere. I'm just saying, hold on a second. I really gotta back my way out of that one. Okay, better. Not perfect, but better. 
All right, nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my Aesthetica Starlight Highlighter in the color Sparkling Rose Gold, which it definitely is, but this is one that I have a problem opening. I got it. This is one of the prettiest highlighters I own. It is the most beautiful highlight, but it's not in your face and it's not overpowering, which most of the ones I usually use are. So anyway, on to the eyebrows. I don't know where my eyebrow brush is, so I'm going to have to use a different one for right now. So what did I do with my brushes? Um, sorry. I know I'm just totally off track and out of it today. I was not going to film, but I kind of got to the point where I was mad at myself and I was like, you need to film because you haven't done it in almost a week. So I pushed myself to film and okay, I found a brush to use exactly what I needed it for. Okay. I need to get a new one of these. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I need to get one of these. I want to get the strawberry, like, AHA or BHA drops, whatever they are, from um, Glow Recipe. And then there's something else I want to get during the Sephora sale. I'm not even sure if I have points there anymore or whatever. I know I have um, points because I still have um, $10 that I'm able to use if I so choose to. So let's do this with a different brush than normal. This could come out bad or not. Okay, this is not turning out exactly like I would like it, but that's okay. You know, everything takes time, and I've never used this brush for this before, so that definitely would take some time to learn. Everything has a learning curve in makeup. Did you ever notice that? Like, everything has its own learning curve. Even, like... <clears throat> buying things from a new company sometimes will stump me if I'm gonna go buy a new palette because I've never bought anything from the company before because I have to learn their formula. That probably sounds really funny but it's true. Okay so I have eyebrows. That's good. <clears throat> that. All right. So, <clears throat> I am going to grab, let's look at what brushes I pulled out. I have this really skinny, weird brush. It is super flat and rounded and stuff. I'm going to use this for my bottom um, waterline. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my throat. I've been like hacking all day. I don't know why. Hopefully I'm not getting sick because I really can't afford that. Um, I don't have the energy to get sick. Like, all right. That is super bright, but there's not much I can do about it. And this eye is the one that's watering really bad. <clears throat> okay. 
I'm good on that side. Let me put this in my thing. Okay. Now I'm, I, that was the uh -huh honey palette from ColourPop. Now I'm going into the Baby Got Peach palette. And I'm going into the medium peach shimmer and the light peach shimmer. We're going to take both of them and we're going to take this and drag it out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. There goes the base on my eyes. Now I need to get, darn it, why do I always do this? Um, it's this, oh, it's an eyeliner pencil. Why do I have that there? Where are my liquid eyeliners when I need them? Okay, I guess, let me look for it real quick. And I, sh I found one. All right, so I'm gonna do some work on my eyes and then we'll do my lips and I'll be done. But I'm gonna take this over the 30 minute mark, which I apologize. I will cut time out of this, definitely. Um, so that you guys do not have to, um, watch me crawling around trying to get brushes off the floor and looking for my eyebrows in a bag because, um, I couldn't find my eyebrow powder. Okay, there goes that. Um... Let me see this. I think. Okay. Let me. Now that like I did my makeup. It just looks weird. Okay. Let's work on my eyes a little bit. I'm going to take this. A state like black liquid eyeliner. And then I'm just going to take that and drag it. Now, I do have a glitter liner, but this is a lot going on. I don't know that a glitter liner is the right idea, but I'll figure that out in a minute. So, I would do this into the camera, but I'm not very good at doing this. And... Like I said, my eyes have been watering today, so my contacts are not solid. Um, I messed that up. Okay. That's better. All right. Let me touch that up. All right. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to take the 24-7 liner from... Uh, Urban Decay and do my tight line with that. Okay, that was a little rough. I did that more on this side than I did this side. So let me do that again. That's a little better. And I'm trying to figure out what color to do on my bottom. I might just do black. Where did I throw that? Because I don't like my um, regular eyeliners being in my makeup bag because I always lose them. So that's there. Okay. I think I'm going to go in with the purple one. This is the... Um, multi-chrome one from ColourPop in the color Acting Up. I just want to use something that's a little darker, but still has a pop to it. 
so that I don't just look like I have pastel around my eyes. Okay, let me look down here. Okay, it's about the best that that part of it is gonna get. Okay, now let me line my lips. Um, hmm. Where in the world? I have my nail things, hold on. Okay. All right. There we go. I had a lip mask on my lips and it was just too thick to put a liner over. There we go. And this liner is by uh, Yoma, and this is Angel On. Um, I just used that for like a basic color so that I could put like a lip gloss over it. If you can't tell, <laughs> I'm trying to do a fun spring look. And I'm looking like I succeeded almost, almost. I need a little bit more work, but we're gonna do that now. So I have this voluminous original L'Oreal uh, Paris it has a really fluffy brush. This is not a primer. This is actually the color. And yes, I am doing this. So I want to get all the bristles or all the hairs I can. I usually just throw this on really fast. And for whatever reason, this stuff smells like funeral homes to me. Like it smells like lilies or something I don't know I've never smelled a um a mascara that smells like this all right now okay I'm gonna wait a second or two and we're gonna put this on another coat and then another one, but I won't make you watch it all. I'll cut out a coat or two. That's better. Let's get this side started. I don't know if you guys know what my lashes normally look like, but this is actually pretty full for them. Like, I'm not used to doing that many coats of mascara on them at all. So, I'm just going to stop and let it go. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did I go too far? Do I look okay? I don't know. And I'm kind of on the fence about this look. I was going to use this. This is too, 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 too much. I have a blue one that I was also thinking about using. But glitter with this look is just a little crazy and I want 
that inner corner yellow to go down a little bit in vibrancy because everything else is pastel and that looks like it's neon. So I'm trying to do this and then Okay, hold on. There we go. That side is better. Okay. So let me know what you guys think, please, down in the comments. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, if you watch this this far, give me some spring flowers down in the comments. Even if you don't want to comment, just give me some flowers and I will greatly appreciate it. Um, for those of you who are willing to comment, I would love for you to tell me how this look came out and all that jazz. I actually think this looks really, really good. It, I don't know if the, the lips are too much, but I'm just going to go with it considering that it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm going to go take this off and lay in bed. So, all right, everybody, I love you all and appreciate each and every one of you. Um, wherever you guys are, whatever time of day it is, I hope you're having a great one and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. All right. Bye guys.